Two friends go to the house of another married friend. He struggles and hands him a bottle of booze. The two friends believe they are helping their other friend by doing this. The man notices that his wife is coming and asks his friends to take back that bottle of liquor. The two friends run to get away from the house. At that point the wife goes to her husband and asks him what he was doing. The man is nervous and says he just went to get some air. The woman asks if the man has finished cleaning the house and washing the dishes. The man runs to let him know that he is already finishing everything and the woman says that she will believe him by sending him back to finish what they agreed. He said it was very hot and so he went to the porch. The woman looks out over the porch as her husband's friends are sitting at the bar in front of their house. The man tries to defend himself by saying that he is a different man from his friends. The man hurries to say that he does not want to be with his friends at that moment, because he had already agreed with her that he would help her with the household chores. The woman pretends to believe it and tells him to go back inside the house, saying that there are still plenty of clothes to be washed and the house to be cleaned. She said she didn't like it when he stood at the window of her house, because his friends might show up to take him away. She then asks him to go with her to the kitchen because she wants him to do something for her. The woman fights with her husband, asking him to help her with the dishes and cleaning the house. The man tries to defend himself by saying that he would solve everything soon, but the woman says that he is only rolling and accumulating dirty clothes and never helping with the dishes. The man tries to justify himself by saying that there are few dishes in the sink and that he will solve it. The woman tells him that she knows where he really wanted to be that afternoon, which was drinking with his friends. The man says he understands what the woman is asking for and promises that it's been a long time since he's had contact with those friends anymore, he knows his wife doesn't like his friends. The woman says she wanted him to do the laundry as he knew she couldn't do it. He apologizes to his wife and says he would do it. He then asks her if she wanted him to start doing that right now. The woman notices that the man is there and approaches him to try to understand what that smell was. She is startled when she realizes that the smell seemed to be from booze, but the man denies it, saying that the smell was really alcohol, but cleaning alcohol, since he was cleaning the windows of the house. The wife does not believe her husband's lies and tells him to stop cheating on her. The man tries to justify himself, but the woman interrupts him by asking if he was really at home cleaning or was drinking with his friends. The man tries to convince the woman by saying that he did not leave the house. The woman is determined to find out what her husband was doing wrong because she couldn't believe him anymore. She searches the closet but finds nothing. The man swears he's not cheating her at all, but the woman asks him if he's hiding something, that they'll tell him just fine. If she finds out what he's doing, she promises her husband that things won't turn out well. The woman goes to her room and searches for some liquor bottles, determined to find what and where her husband is hiding and deceiving her. She feels bad about the whole situation, but she keeps looking. She goes to the kitchen, where her husband is doing the dishes. When she realizes that he is doing the dishes, she is very happy and says that she likes to see him helping her. She asks him if he wants to drink some water, but the man tries to get away from the situation, saying he is tired and needs to rest. The man, noticing that his friends are outside calling for him, is overjoyed and goes to the porch. His friends tell him to try to go out for a drink with them. Even though he wants it badly, the man warns him that at any moment his wife could come back and that it would not be good for him to leave. The friends say it would only be a beer and very quick, but the man is afraid of his wife being upset and asks his friends to leave. The friends promise that they will try to get their friend out of that difficult situation, but the man thanks him and says that he will end up giving him a big problem if he goes with them. The friends say goodbye and leave. The wife slowly approaches her husband and notices that he is back on the porch. She asks him what he was doing there again and her husband replies that it was still very hot. He said he was very stuffy in the kitchen and the woman asks him not to hide it if he is eating something hidden from her. 
She apologizes for replacing his diet with a healthier diet, but says it's a diet that will do him good. She says that he had put on a lot of weight and that he wasn't leading a healthy life, but that she was there to help him solve that problem, because they were married and she would never stop wanting the best for him. She says that his friends would never think about his well-being and that they would never tell him the truth because they weren't good friends. She says they didn't have a family like them. The man said he likes the new diet they are following and the woman comments here that this diet will help the two of them lose weight together and exercise together. The man agrees and the woman says she will prepare a healthy snack for the two of them to eat because her husband seems to be in need of better nutrition. The woman prepares a healthy snack for her husband and asks him if he was enjoying the snack. The man says he looks great and asks if the woman doesn't want to eat with him. The woman says she's happy just to see him eat better and that she'll later go out with some friends. She asks him to do the dishes after he's finished eating, and the man agrees. He drinks the glass of water his wife had given him and tells her that she was actually very good. One of his friends comes to the house and the man is startled. The friend tells him that there is a car waiting for them outside and asks the man to get ready and pack a suitcase to leave. The man said he loves his wife so much that he couldn't do that to her. The friend then says that this was not a life that someone like him needed to live, because his wife would never let him do anything. He couldn't drink with his friends, he couldn't leave the house to have fun with his friends, and that was wrong. The man says that he couldn't complain about how things were going, because he loved his wife very much and she did it for his sake. The friend says that this was the man's lie and that his wife wouldn't let him live his own life. The friend said that this woman was asking him to live and enjoy life. This excites the man and he begins to think about the possibility of it. The friend encourages him and the man asks his friend to wait on the body, because he is going to pack his suitcase. The man goes to the bedroom where his wife is resting for a while. He grabs some blouses and tries not to make too much noise so as not to wake his wife. The woman wakes up and realizes that her husband was making a lot of noise. She asked what was going on, as her husband and his friend fled the house. The woman runs, but she can't catch up with her husband. She tries to open the door, but realizes that her husband has locked the door from the outside. She screams for her husband to come back to her and cries because she has been abandoned.